Hey guys, so as many of you already know, all stocks have plummeted and are at all time lows right now. If you were investing in oil before, you'll realize that many funds or all stocks are down by as much as 90% and counting. And we have also now entered negative oil prices. So as usual, here comes the popular investment saying or strategy about buying low and selling high. And is this what you should be doing or should you be playing the sidelines on this one? Well, in this video, that's what we're going to be talking about today, right? And very importantly, before we discuss this, I want to remind you guys that I post videos here several times a week. And if you want to be updated on when I post new videos, then you have to subscribe to this channel and then turn on notifications so YouTube will send you alerts of when I post new content. Now, if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. Don't forget to smash the like button so this video can get recommended and help more people out. And thanks for tuning in to the channel once more. Now, as for our oil stocks, Will they make you millions if you invest right now or will they go bankrupt next month and take all your investments down the spill? Well, let's talk about why the prices are crashing in the first place because that will help you to make a better decision as it relates to what you want to do with these oil companies or oil stocks. So what's happening right now is that we are in the era of the Mexican bear virus and in this era, People work from home if they are lucky, and if they aren't, then they just don't work at all. Now, you may wonder, what does me working have to do with oil companies in Louisiana? You see, when you were working, you were purchasing fuel every week or several times a week. The entire city was. The entire world, really. Now, you aren't going on that cruise anymore this year either, and you may not be flying anywhere also. So, because of this, there is very, very little demand for oil and fuels right now. However, that doesn't mean that we've slowed down the production of it. Oh no, we are still producing the same amount of oil. In fact, two countries are now having a price battle over who can, one, produce more oil right now, and two, sell it at the lowest possible price. So we know how this goes, right? Supply and demand. When you have more supply than demand, then the prices drop. And when you have more demand than supply, then prices go up. And this is with anything really. So you may think, well, why don't they just stop producing so much oil for right now? Well, everyone wants a piece, or in this particular case, not just a piece, but the majority of the oil business. And so if these oil giants compete like this, they will force themselves into bankruptcy, which is a bad thing. The American oil companies can sell oil for about $20 per barrel. Uh, Russia and Saudi can sell it for about $10 or even less. And these are two countries that already have somewhat of an advantage, you would think. But these guys are super greedy. And with that said, they are just trying to simply uh, run each other out of business so they can have all the oil business to themselves. And of course, remember guys, nobody really likes America. I mean, they say they do, but they really don't. And this is kind of like the perfect opportunity to watch the US suffer and cause the country some more pain. Uh, at least that's how I look at it. What do you guys think? write a comment down below and tell me if you think this is indeed the case. So for that reason, we now have so much oil here in the US and there isn't enough storage facilities to store it. Now, if you've seen the headlines about negative oil prices, this is where that negative oil price comes in. The oil is produced, more is being produced, but nowhere to store it. So essentially, if you have a couple thousand acres of land uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, then potentially you could be paid to store a couple thousand uh, barrels of oil or be paid to just take it rather. Now, this is where the real opportunity to make a killing from oil comes in and not really in the stock market as you may be thinking. So here's how you could go about this. Let's say for a minute that oil is now $15 a barrel here in the US. You could call up and say, hey, that oil problem you're having, I'll help you out. I will buy 5,000 barrels of oil from you at this price of $15 per barrel. Now, once you do that, you jump into the futures market, right? Because oil prices are based off futures, which is just what the oil is expected to be worth in the future. 
Now in the futures market, you would find that point in time where the oil is valued at more than what it is today and then get into a futures contract with someone else to sell them the oil at a very good price at that time. And once you get into this contract, there is no backing out. They owe you the money at that time and you owe them the oil. Now, this sounds like an incredible way to make money, but I don't know who will be buying oil from you now uh, since, again, there is no demand, so I wouldn't try that. But if you have the space, then this could be the opportunity of a lifetime because the price of oil has to rebound when the demand rebounds. Now, on the bright side of this greed-filled and greed-inspired madness we're seeing, uh, lower prices at the pump, and we will continue to see lower prices for fuel until the demand returns, in my estimation. Now, the worst thing about this is the damage it will do to some oil companies. If you can't play and you can't compete, you run out of money too quickly, then you will go bankrupt. So for that reason, oil stocks are crashing down to all-time lows, and if this continues for weeks to come, and I personally believe that it will, then unfortunately, some of these oil companies will be pushed to their limit in terms of how close they go to closing up shop. Now, we really don't have any use for all this oil, and if I'm anywhere near right, we won't be needing a lot of oil for months to come. So this creates a big problem. Many of these oil companies, just like any other company really, have a lot of debt, right? And now they're not making money anymore because there is no demand for the product they offer, which is oil. And the best thing they can do right now is to sell oil at any price that someone will pay for it. That's even a challenge too, because what is somebody going to do with all this oil? I mean, you could buy it and store it, then wait for demand to come back and then make a killing. But where are you even going to store all this oil? So right now, you can grab oil stocks for nothing really, and they are almost free. Now, I will say that, of course, you have to do your analysis on these oil companies to see how long you can estimate them being in business for like this, and if you want to risk the investment, because the stock is really, really cheap right now. Now, as in the case of the airlines, we can't say for sure if the government will once again step in here and try to provide some sort of funding or strategy that will actually help bail them out and we will just have to be on the lookout to see where that goes. Now, personally, I haven't been investing in oil as much and I have had ExxonMobil in my dividend portfolio for over two years now and maybe they will stop paying dividends, I'm not sure, but I don't intend to sell any of those shares. As for buying more, I'll just be investing as I would regularly because I don't see a solution to the supply and demand problem anytime soon. And so I believe that the prices will be down and possibly go lower, but for the most part, will stay down for at least a couple more weeks, if not months. Now, surely if you have a long-term outlook, you could pick up a fund like the USO, which is the United States Oil Fund. And at the time of making this video, it's about $2.40 per share, which is down from nearly $20 uh, two to three months ago and way down from its all-time high, which I believe was about $100 or close to it a few years back. So, I mean, if you just want to make a quick buck in the stock market, you could buy some oil stocks and potentially make a lot of money. I mean, 90% off the stock price is a good discount. And at this point, I wouldn't even be trying to time the market to get the best price unless, of course, you believe that demand uh, will never come back. And then in that case, then you shouldn't be investing or buying oil stocks in the first place. So will they go bankrupt? Will these oil companies go bankrupt? The possibility is there. And as the situation progresses over the next couple of weeks, we will definitely have a clearer idea of which oil companies may be heading to bankruptcy. And I don't believe that the oil prices are going to be skyrocketing anytime soon back to their past uh, two to three month highs. So, I mean, you guys can put pause on this before you invest or invest more into an oil stock that could potentially go under. Now, as usual, I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what you think about this entire oil situation, right? Do you think the government will bail them out and offer some form of assistance or will they be left to suffer? Also, what are your oil stock picks if you are investing in any and why? So those are my thoughts on this entire oil situation right now. Now guys, if you appreciate the content that I'm putting out on this channel and you think it's useful, then do two things for me, right? 
All I really ask is you share this video anywhere really where it will get to other people and possibly help them out as well. Now, secondly, give this video a like, right? When you guys like the videos, YouTube promotes them more and sends them to more viewers here. And so that way this video will reach more people and in turn help them out as well. Now, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed to the channel, right now is the time to do so. And when you subscribe, remember to turn on notifications as that's the only way that you will be notified when I post updates here about the stock market and other videos and topics relating to money, personal finance, and of course, investing. Now, while mentioning investing, if you guys are looking for a free, easy to use investment app or platform, then check out the link below to Webull. And Webull is also offering two free stocks when you use the link below to sign up and invest with $100. Now, these two free stocks can be valued at up to $1,200 so be sure to check that out. Once again, guys, thanks a lot for tuning into the channel again. Remember to stay safe out there. If you haven't already hoarded toilet paper and Corona beer, then get that done as soon as possible. And until next time, adios.